Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Today is Fake or Real Thursday, with the craziest stories that just can't be real. Today I effed up by getting tested to donate a kidney to my wife. Today's story comes from the best of Reddit or update subreddit, posted by a throwaway account. I decided to get tested to see if I could donate my kidney to my wife of six years. We have two kids together, four female and two male. My wife got sick just after our son was born and is now in need of a kidney transplant. We checked her relatives and none were a match or a viable donor. So last week, I got tested. I knew it would be a long shot but I still decided to get tested to see if I could donate. I got a call the other day saying that I was a match. The doctor then said something about wanting to do additional testing due to some information from the HLA tissue test results. I didn't think much of it and agreed. Then the results came in and I was shocked and confused. He explained that because of how DNA information is passed down through generations, a parent to a child could have at least a 50% match. Siblings could have a 0-100% to match. It was rare to have a high match as husband and wife. I asked, what does that mean? He said that my wife and I have an abnormally high match percentage. Long story short, we're related. No, I'm not kidding. I was put up for adoption before I was born and placed into a family that moved across the country. I knew I was adopted, but we didn't have any information about my bio family. It was a closed adoption. I met my wife by chance eight years ago. I was on a work trip and she was working at the site I went to. We worked together for a week. We exchanged numbers and kept in touch. I was sent back there three more times that year and each time we became closer. I was given the opportunity to be transferred out there into a new, higher paying position in a different department to hers. And the rest is history. I don't know what to do moving forward, but I know it may be wrong. She's my wife and the mother of our kids. This post is probably going to get removed, but it is all true. Too long didn't read. My wife of six years needs a kidney. I got tested and we have an abnormally high match percentage for being husband and wife. Edit. My parents adopted me two minutes after I was born. Their name is on my birth certificate. They haven't told me anything about my bio parents and I don't have any information. Her family isn't a match, as stated above. Most of her family has low match potential or can't donate due to medical or other reasons. I'm two years older than my wife. I do know that my wife was born when her parents were in their late teens. Update 2. Yes, I am stressed and freaking out. Yes, I can play the banjo. No, there was no genetic test done when we got married. Our state stopped that in the 90s. No, my wife has never been stuck in the dryer, but once she got stuck under the bed... Just kidding. The reason I didn't go into too much detail was I didn't want me or my wife to be recognised. Well, the front page of Reddit didn't help with that. The reason her family couldn't donate was because her close relatives had some medical issues that prevented them from donating. For example, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer and heavy drinking. The further out we tested, the less percentage was a match. I want to be tested because we need to find someone. The doctor said it'd be unlikely but wouldn't hurt to try. I was freaking out after I got the news and I had to get some outside advice. When the doctor said that the percentage was abnormally high and that we might be related, I kind of zoned out and started to piece things together in my mind. My parents live a thousand miles away. They met my in-laws a few times, once at my wedding and when both my children were born. My children are fine, my daughter is incredibly smart for her age and my son is a handful and healthy. The way my adoption worked, when my bio mum gave birth to me, I was checked out and put into a different room. I was there, but I don't know how it officially worked. From what my parents explained, they were in that room waiting. They never met my bio mum in person. My bio mum only had a profile and picked them out from many candidates. I called my parents and told them I need to know everything they knew about my bio mum. They told me they had limited knowledge, but she was a single mum that was 16 years old and the father wasn't in the picture. Also, I was born in a hospital one hour from where my wife was born. Like I said, limited knowledge. 
growing up, I didn't want to find out about my bio parents. To me, my parents were always my parents. I knew I was adopted, and that it was a closed adoption. I figured it wouldn't matter long term. I'm not going to do an additional at-home DNA test through any of the traditional testing sites like 23 or Ancestry due to personal reasons. Like the possibility of the family finding out. The doctor said all of this only to me, not with my wife present. Some of the additional tests the doctor completed basically confirmed that one of my bio parents is one of hers. Although it could also mean first cousins or aunt or uncle. I'm guessing her dad. When my kids were born, my parents brought photos of me as a baby and commented that me and my son look a lot like my wife's dad. My son is easily explainable, but all three of us are a different story. I'm not going to bring this up ever. I might look at my father-in-law differently, but nothing hopefully will change. I hope none of my family ever goes on Reddit and connects the dots. I am donating a kidney to my wife. We've started the full process. That takes a lot of time and preparation. I plan on talking to my wife after the surgery and after recovery. We will decide what to do with our kids if we're going to get them tested or ever tell them. I will not be leaving my wife. I love and always will be there for her. I made vows and I'll keep them. I love her more than I would a half-sister. Too long didn't read. I'm donating my kidney to my wife, who is most probably my paternal half-sister. Edit. I do plan on telling her after the surgery. She's not doing well and I think this will be even harder on her. I would rather her know that I love her as a husband rather than flip her world upside down right before a life-changing and dangerous surgery if something were to happen. Telling our kids is not a decision I'm going to make on my own. It will be a joint thing after my wife knows. Update 3. Okay, first of all, my wife and I did go through the transplant. We're both recovering well now. My wife is the healthiest she's been since our son was born. So I kept to my original plan. I didn't tell my wife about the possibility of us being related until after the surgery. Before the surgery, my parents came into town as soon as they could. It really helps having a big family support system like we have. The days leading up to the surgery seem like there just wasn't enough time in the day for everything. With 900 doctor appointments, getting things prepared for the worst case scenario, researching, setting up my parents and other family in our house to watch our kids and just spending time together as a family. The doctors were fantastic and laid out everything in a professional but relatable fashion. They answered all the questions and concerns that we had leading up to, during and post-op. There was a ton of questions. It was one of the best feelings seeing my wife hopeful for the first time in a long time. I knew I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I took that away from her. In the days leading up, I decided I was going to write a letter to my wife if things went bad for me, but she survived. I wrote six pages. I have small handwriting. In it, I told her how much I love her, how much she changed me from the moment we met, how she was my universe, but also how sorry I was for keeping a secret from her and lying to her. I went into details about what I found over the past week, how we might be related and all the evidence. I gave it to my parents to give to her if something were to happen to me, but if we both didn't make it, then to read it with my in-laws. I also made other letters. The surgery went well for both of us. They said my kidney looked mighty fine. The transparent worked out rather quickly for my wife and her body accepted it. I ended up scratching my eye pretty bad and they had to put an eye patch on me. So when I saw my wife for the first time, her first words to me were, the doctors knew we will here for the kidney, right? Recovery all over sucks. There was virtually no position that was comfortable. I felt like a baby because my wife never complained and was healing well and taking it easy. Me, on the other hand, was not so smart and I decided to go against the doctor's orders and did not take it easy. I ended up having to go to the ER and have a secondary surgery to repair the damage I caused. Please listen to your medical professionals. Update 4. Now, onto what you all care about. During recovery, my wife got into TikTok and Reddit. Well, after a time, she found a little post that made it way bigger than I ever intended. Looking back, I should have been more careful. During this time, she started to ask more in-depth questions about my adoption. 
My parents were still at the house at this point and they answered all questions. My wife used the excuse of wanting to put together a memory book for our kids and wanted to include a family history of us growing up, including our parents who raised us. She knew most of this information but wanted more details. She asked her dad for more details about his childhood, how he met her mother, if her mother was his first relationship. She knew some, but I was learning a lot. Also, remember that my wife was born when her parents were older teens. I'm older than her. He said no, her mother wasn't his first relationship. We ended up pulling out his old yearbooks from high school, and he showed us the girl who was his first real relationship. I knew she was probably my bio mom. I could see features that I have in her. He told us fond memories he had of her. He said their relationship ended because of her parents and he never saw her again. He tried finding out what happened to her but couldn't. This was before the internet. Shortly after that, he asked out my mother-in-law and here we are. We got my father-in-law's side and then my mother-in-law said, Now, let me tell you how it really happened and proceeded to tell us a completely different story that was much more believable. Nothing about all of this was a red flag, indicating that my wife knew my secret. But after that visit, I felt extremely guilty. She was healthier than she'd been in years, and out of the major danger zone. So I had no real excuse to not tell her anymore. It took me an additional two weeks to finally tell her. She noticed I was acting off, and finally asked me if I was okay. I said I need to talk to her about something serious possibly life-altering, and potentially a relationship-ending topic. But that I loved her and I'll do absolutely everything she decided from that point forward. She told me that was not a good way to start a conversation and asked if I wanted to try again. So I gave her the letter I'd written before the surgery. She went from curious, happy crying to intense concentration unreadable. In my head, I'd basically handed her divorce papers and I'll never see her or my kids again. Our life that we'd built together had just gone nuked. I'm dramatic in my head. When I get nervous, I pace back and forth. When she finished reading it, she took a moment, then came over to me, stopped me from pacing and said to look at her. She smiled with a genuine smile and said, you're the dumbest smart person I know, and then kissed me. This started a long conversation. She'd come across my first post after the surgery and found it oddly specific to our situation. Even though I changed some of the details, she connected the dots. This started her trying to find out if it was true and if I would eventually tell her or continue to lie and hide it from her. She reassured me that it changed nothing in our relationship. She's my wife, I'm her husband, and she'll always have a piece of me with her at all times. She said, like a bunch of commenters, that she doesn't view it as wrong because we didn't grow up together, we didn't know, and it's a bit too late to back out now. We decided to have our kids do genetic testing when they're more age appropriate, mainly for the unknown of me being adopted. We aren't, for now or possibly ever, telling anyone. We also looked up who we now suspect is my bio mum. What we found was that she ended up passing away a few years ago due to a drunk driver. I don't drink and drive. We also found that I possibly have two other half-sisters. So, I have dating options down the road if needed. My wife hit me when I told her this. The kids are doing really well. All they know is that mummy's doing better. They're enjoying spending more time with her and the extra energy and playfulness that she hasn't had for a while. So, all in all, the best case scenario happened. The only thing I'd change is if the doctors tell you to take it easy and give you proper medical advice, follow it. Also, if you're keeping a secret from your wife or SO, don't. They probably already know and are just letting you keep digging that hole deeper. My wife and I are doing really well. We're probably the closest we've been in a really long time. I asked her to marry me again. She said she'd think about it and then pause for like 5 long seconds. Finally, she said, yes, of course, I will marry you. I'm not as afraid as I was about the family finding out or seeing this post. I now have a goddess-like force at my back if we ever get questioned. Like I said, I probably won't update again. Thank you all. Aw, this is the cutest incest story I've done. 
as someone in the comments pointed out, I've actually done quite a few. But seriously, if he hadn't accidentally married his sister, he wouldn't have been able to save her life years later. Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.